It's a country where, like, you can travel and you're considered to be a kid up until 25 when you're riding the train station. It you're considered to, to be a kid until you're 25? Really? What's up, guys? It's Dwayne back again for another video, back in for the reaction. And today is a great, wonderful, amazing, incredible day because it's a Sweden day. Five reasons I'm never leaving Sweden. Without further ado, let's get into this reaction. Let's go. Andrew coming at you, and here are five reasons I'm never leaving Sweden. Number one, my quality of life. As much as I loved living in the United States, I do not think I lived the same quality of lifestyle. I ate out okay. a lot because I was working very long hours when I was working at a car dealership. I would go out and eat very much, and I was just eating a lot of fast food, which isn't good. Uh, my life here, I have to take public transportation every day, but I've worked it out that I get a 15 minute walk to my work and a 15 minute walk back, which means I get about 30 minutes of walking every day. And the thing is, if you live in Europe, you gotta walk a lot more. And I think that that walking really adds up to making people just feel healthier. I also think walking out- That's true. We walk a lot more in Europe. Also, I think he's saying that basically he has more time. <laughs> he has more time. So I think in America, they, they're really encouraged to work, 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 work. No rest time, no holidays, nothing like that. And I think moving to Sweden is probably a uh, breath of fresh air. Getting outside, getting the nice weather, that really helps improve the quality of my life. Now, a lot of the things I'm gonna talk about in this video are gonna be about how my quality of life has improved. And although number one, this is the main point, quality of life, happier, there's a reason that people are happier in Scandinavian countries, and I think that I'm going to go into it all the other reasons moving forward, but I want everybody, I want everybody to be aware of that. Number two, uh, going off of quality of life, this is a great place to raise kids. Now, I don't have any kids of mm. myself personally, but uh, when I get to the point where I want to have kids, it just looks like it's great. Uh, you can stay home to take care of your kids when you're sick. You get a little bit of money from the government to help pay uh, for your kids. Sweden is a country that, it, where being kids is very important. It's a country where like you can travel and you're considered to be a kid up until 25 when you're riding the train station. It you're considered to, to be a kid until you're 25? Really? Wow, what? What does he mean by that? What does he mean by that? Um, he said something about the train station. So in the UK, we have like rail cards for for young people. So a young person's rail card. So under 25, you get subsidized train, train journeys. So is that what he's talking about in terms of um, someone who's 25 is seen as a kid? Does he mean that they get certain benefits from the government in that sense? Let me know. It's just a very kid-friendly country from parents taking care of kids to society taking care of kids. And it's one of the reasons that a lot of people do not leave is because once they have kids, they don't want to leave. They want to stick around. Number three, Sweden is a great place to work because people do not necessarily work to themselves to death here. You know, quality of life is yeah. very important. It's important that the workplace isn't too stressful for people. Um, there's not a lot of hierarchy at workplaces, and so it's very important that people at workplaces feel happy, they work together. There's Absolutely. strong unions here in Sweden, which means that the worker conditions are very well in Sweden as well. This you get better, this is, if there's better working conditions, if an employee is happy, if there's less of a feeling, because obviously there's a hierarchy in any society, but if, if it feels like there's less of a hierarchy, and you feel like you're just part of a team, of course your productivity is gonna go up. No, I would have thought so, right? Because you're you're happier, you feel part of a team, you don't feel like you're being um, walked on, stomped, pushed down, do you know what I mean? By a hierarchy system, you know? You feel like you're part of, you know, everyone's the same, in, 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 even though everyone isn't the same, but everyone gets treated fairly and that's awesome. It makes, like, sounds like a good place to live. I bet for him, coming from the USA, it's like, what? This is amazing. You get plenty of time off. Uh, I think the average is 25 days. I think in some cases, 30 days off. Um, I work in education, so I get more time off 
But a lot of people that work in Sweden are very, very happy with their work-life balance. I mentioned before that you could stay home to take care of your kids. When it comes to your kids or your own health, you can stay home, no questions asked. And I think that just takes yeah. away a lot of stress that people feel uh, in their lives. And is one of the reasons people uh, decide to stay in Sweden is because of the work-life balance. And that's probably one of the reasons I would stick around and why my plan is to stick around. Number four has to be values. One thing that I like about Sweden is I find that the country's values really lock in with a lot of my own values. Uh, I mm. care very much about nature. I like that uh, taking care of the environment is very important in Sweden, that Sweden is trying to become a self-sustainable and focus more on renewable energies. And being that Sweden is such a smaller country, I, I like that Sweden for the most part has been a neutral country. This is probably going to change with NATO as I... Oh, he's jumped on another topic. Um, about the plant situation, the plant situation or the planet, I love that about Sweden, that you're very conscious about the planet and saving the trees, saving the earth. <laughs> I just like that. I don't think the UK does enough, um, especially when it comes to recycling. We're pretty bad when it comes to recycling, I feel. Um, we could be doing a lot better Especially as such a small island, we should be doing better. But we should be looking to our Scandinavian brothers and sisters and taking some notes because you guys are awesome at it. As I, feel I mean, you, you gave us Greta. So that Sweden's most likely going to join NATO. I also like that Sweden tries to preach peace and tries to negotiate for a lot of countries. That's an important aspect for me as a, coming from a country that's involved in a lot of countries <laughs> and wars when it comes to countries that had oil and other things going on. Involved in a lot of wars is an understatement with the USA. Um, not to be too vocal, but the US is, is yeah, I'm not even going to, yeah. He said, he said everything that needs to be said. The USA is involved in most of the wars. If they're not involved, they're funding them. They're giving them money. So, yeah, uh, weapons. But anyways, I, I digress. <laughs> now, I do think that the United States has to do a lot of the things that it does, given the whole world situation. Uh, but I just like that Sweden uh, stays out of a lot of those things. Number five reason you I think do, I'm going to stay in well. Sweden is it's a happy country. And I really mean that. I've, a lot of people are very happy, in a good mood. It's a very cold country. Uh, people don't want to talk to one another sometimes, but they're mostly happy and friendly. And once you can get Swedish people to... He sees it when he says cold, he means cold as in cold as in towards each other, not cold as in temperature. When he said cold at first, I was like, do you mean it snows? Uh, no, he means, I think he means between people. Um, I don't think you're cold. I think, I think you're just, you're very, you take a, a year, uh, it takes a while to, you take a while to warm up to people and you need to get to know people. Like, I don't know, like, I just feel, what I get is, um, you're very individualistic, in a good way, independent. Um, but I think you're probably, I think Swedes would probably be very loyal friends once you, you, you break that barrier. Like I feel like once you make a friend with a Swedish person, they're a friend for life, like they're loyal. That's what I get. Tell me if I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section, but that's the vibe I get from my interactions with um, all of you guys. And especially on my Patreon, because you guys keep me motivated to continue to watch videos on Film Friday with you. Um, we've watched a lot of stuff now. What have we watched? We've watched, well, so we're on season five of Up for Swaria. We have watched a lot of movies. Um, we've watched Snabakash, the TV show. We've watched, um, oh, what's that TV show called? Um, Clark on Netflix, we've watched that. Yeah, we've watched quite a bit. I'm learning a lot about Sweden. If you're interested, the link is in the description. Um, I love Film Fridays with you guys and I love my Patreon members. But yeah, yeah. Swedes are loyal friends. To open up, I find that they're happy to talk and, and smile. They just need to be pushed to open up every single time. Mm. And Swedish people are happy and friendly. Uh, a Swedish person might not help you if you need help because they might not want to embarrass you. But if you ask them for help, then they would help you. Like, let's say you were struggling with your lug luggage or something like that. It wouldn't be very Swedish maybe to just run up and help you. But if you ask someone for help, they would. Uh, that's how I find Swedish people. And I find them to be quite happy. And uh, I think you can live a happy life here. And let's hope there will be many years of happy life here in Sweden. 
Uh, so this is my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. That was a good video. Um, yeah, I, like I said, I'm so excited to, when I come, it's going to be a moment. Guys, you're going to be the first to know when I decide, or when I decide, when I book, I've already decided I'm coming, but when I book my tickets to come to Sweden, uh, you'll be the first to know. And I'm really looking forward to it because I'm going to be vlogging my experience. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Until the next one, I'll see you very soon.